Hey, how you doing today? We are here in Schenectady, New York, and the best part about this project is that everybody thinks you need to have a lot of acreage to have a water feature in your backyard. But today we're gonna show you why you really don't have to have a ton of room to have a nice ornamental water garden, koi pond, pondless waterfall, whatever you might want. There is plenty of room no matter what size your yard is or where you're located. All right, so today we are gonna be doing an eight by 10 pond with just a two drop waterfall, which means the waterfall is gonna be right at the edge of the pond. It's eight by 10 and it's gonna be three foot deep. The reason we're going three feet deep is they're probably gonna to wanna to put koi in there. So we just wanna make sure that they got the depth for the winter months. I have always wanted one. I retired last year. Uh, I took care of things with the house, so now it's time for me to enjoy the outside. Are you gonna put goldfish or koi in this pond? I'm gonna start probably out with goldfish, but I definitely want koi. Back here at this Connecticut job, the guys that got this all finished up, they did an awesome job. So we had Jason, Corey, Jep, and uh, Austin was here for one day, but they have finished this waterfall up and it looks awesome. This is an eight by 10 pond. There is a section that's three foot deep, so if they wanna put koi in it, they're more than uh, adequate to keep them in there over the winter. But you know, you're still gonna wanna do like some kind of winterization pump, like a bubbler, maybe an oxygenator, plus a heater. But check out how cool this waterfall came out. They did an awesome job with it. I like how it's got that one kicker that kind of goes to the left, starts out straight, pops down, goes to the left, and comes back forward. Cool part about that is you got different viewing points, and let me show you why. The reason that we wanted to do that little left-hand kicker is because you want to be able to see this all from the house. Plus, they have this gazebo uh, patio area over here where they can sit and still see that waterfall. So from here, Look how that view is gonna change. The more you go to the side, it changes. And from over in this section, you're gonna be able to see those falls also where the bottom one is kind of headed straight. So when you come around the corner, you'll be able to look at it. So this turned out awesome, way better than I could have expected. And wait until that water clears up. It's gonna be just a cool feature. I can't believe how beautiful it is. It's exactly what I wanted. So you had one thing that you asked us about for your dog, Raven. What was that? <laughs> Raven uh, loves water, but not to swim in. She likes to go in one or two inches and just lay down and cool herself off and then get up and continue out. We really appreciate you allowing us to create this in your backyard. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing it maybe in a couple months, maybe when you got some fish in there and oh, maybe we can visit, come back and visit. That would be great. You like your new pond? huh? You like your new pond? 